Hi everybody, it's Ellen Jaffe Jones with Real Estate News You Can Use Tuesdays. And I'm just hanging out here by Sarasota Bay, the dock of the Sarasota Bay, watching the sailboats go behind me. And people on their lunch hour are hanging out here too, just to get a break, just a kind of a chill break, because you kind of need that these days, don't you think? Well, you know, as I sit here, I was going to go out to Lido Key, where I have an amazing listing on the beach, which is still an amazing listing on the beach. But this, it, it was just so cool as I started driving on the causeway. You know, you can race over the Ringling Bridge right over there. But as I was driving on the way to Lido, I saw sailboats, and I just had to pull over. I don't know if you can see, there are a couple in the background, way in the distance. And unfortunately, I can't zoom in on this view. but. You'll just have to take my word for it. And right over there on that piece of land is the Sarasota Sailing Squadron where I have been privileged to be a member. And it was just the best, so much fun. I don't have time for it anymore, but on Thursday mornings, they would have this group called the Luffing Lassies. And it was a group of women who just were very interested in learning how to sail. And um, the group is very passionate also about uh, teaching women to be captains if they want to be, getting their license to do that, because relatively speaking, there are very few female captains compared to male captains. But it's a great group. You can go sailing. You can learn how to sail on a sunfish if you've never been. I grew up in Missouri on sail, little sunfishes then, actually taught it at my summer camp. And so moving down here, I mean, this is the sailing capital of the world, in my humble opinion. Some others might disagree, but on a day like today, you've got perfect wind, you've got beautiful conditions. The clouds are oh so scenic and um, it's just a wonderful place to be. I, I often say if I'd grown up here I would have done every single water sport here. So there's sailing over there, there's a pontoon boat going uh, out over there if you want to go a little bit faster and of course um, lots of speed boats on any given day here or in the Gulf of Mexico right over that part of the causeway and St. Armand Circle, great shopping, all that fun stuff to do if you got to be busy and uh, you get tired of taking your chill pill. So um, as you can see, I'm using my very long lunch break to do videos and to work on my tan and uh, vitamin D absorption. Of course, it's the sun that triggers vitamin D production in the body. We don't actually get the vitamin from the sun, but you know, a lot of people come here in search of it and it certainly is the way to go. Uh, a lot of people are, are moving here to escape the cold from the north and believing that Florida sunshine, being outside a lot, is um, a great way to avoid viruses of any kind. So, you know, we don't, oh, there it goes, a, a, oh, I hope you can see that, a seagull with a little fish in its talons. I hope, I have no idea if you were able to see that because I just flipped the camera around and couldn't see what you were seeing. But yeah, you see that all the time, just birds kind of picking up their, their lunch or dinner or whatever it is. And um, it's just so relaxing and fun to be here. So if I can help you, EllenSellsSarasota.com. You can dream away looking at all of the properties there that are listed. And we've had, I've had people buy a condo right over there in downtown Sarasota, just like a mile away or less sight unseen just based on the pictures that were on my website and uh, she came in for the inspection loved it and is going to be moving here in just another week so these things happen um, if i can help you in any way let me know got any questions no question is too small or silly because i used to be a tv reporter and i used to ask my share for sure all right see you soon